So in the same way we've added pagination to this blog posts, just in case you failed to add it to the products, let's do it together before we continue to the search thing. So let's come to the view here for products in the admin so that we can add the bottom part of this section. So I'm going to go to views and eShop here. And let's go to the admin since we had the admin section and let's go to products. Products, yes. So at the very bottom here, uh, where is this? Okay, so some of these parts are for adding products like this one right here. So let's ignore that. And yeah, so the table is somewhere here and the table ends somewhere here. T body, rows, okay, T head. All right, so right inside this body, that's where we want to add our pagination so that it's at the bottom. Otherwise, it would be at the top. But if you don't mind it being at the top, then we can add it even here. So I'm just going to do PHP and say page like that and say uh, show links. So obviously, I will remove that. Don't forget to close the tag and then let's refresh. Okay, so right here we have the page numbers working just fine. So let's do the same for the rest of them. So call P. Let's go to, uh, so that's products. Let's go to categories as well. And orders, yes. Messages as well. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. So let's go to categories. So scroll down to the T body just at the very end. Paste like so. That's categories. Let's confirm. There we go. Depending on where you want this though. So if for example you want it on the inside of this body or at the bottom, you can do this instead. Let's see here. Just add a table row like this and then close the table row at the end and then add table data as well. TD open, TD close. And then just give it a column span that extends to the number of your columns. Here we have one, two, three, four. So let's put four there. Okay. And once we refresh, it moves to the bottom. Okay, so orders, same thing here. I'm just going to copy the entire thing, including the column span here, copy. And let's go to orders, orders. And just after the table, which is right here. So that's the body, that's the table. So I'll just add one more here in the bottom. Paste, like so. Now the column span here will be different, but let's see what happens when it's four. So it seems things did not work. This is orders, yes, isn't it? Oh, uh, yes. Something weird about this though, because there's a T body inside a loop. So this isn't very uh, good. No, it is not. So this was a mistake. So let me move the body outside the loop. Let me move that one outside the loop. Okay, move that back a bit. Table row, table data. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just uh, increase this to eight. Column span, refresh. Okay, I still don't see that. I think it's because I added it to this section here, which is wrong. So I think I made a mistake here. So what I would do is remove that. Let me see if I haven't broken anything there. Refresh. Let's click that again. Okay, seems legit. So 
it's the wrong table. So let's go to the table that is above, which is uh, this table here, isn't it? No, 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 not this table. These are details here. So it's this table over here. So this is the loop. So let me go down here to that loop. After this loop, right underneath there, let me click that over here. Okay, good. So a refresh, okay, and there we go. Goody. Let's add one more on the messages, then you will get the idea. So let's go to messages. Where are we? Uh, messages.php. And same thing, right? This is one table row. We are not supposed to put it inside the loop. We are supposed to put it down here, even after the end if so that even when we have no results, we have the page numbers. And let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six columns. I think it doesn't really matter. Refresh, there we go. Okay, so good. Now we have page numbers on these things. But for it to work, obviously, we have to have an offset and the like. So what we will do is go to the respective uh, models for these things to fix that. So since we're on messages, let's start with messages. So if I go to messages and these parts that say get one, not get one, get all though, right here, order by ID descending, and then let's put limit, and then let's put limit, and let's put offset, and let's put offset, not like that, like this. Okay, so copy that. But keep in mind, these are actually variables, so we must create those variables. <clears throat> so for example, limit here, limit be equal to, let's see if we can use a limit that will tell us, no, yeah, we just won't have one message, so that's good enough. Let's put a limit of 10, and then let's create an offset. So the offset obviously will come from page. Uh, is it get offset? I'm not really sure anymore. So to be sure, no problem. Just go to the core and go to page, get offset, right? Good. So get offset and we supply the limit, of course like this, good. So once I refresh now, if I go to the next page, uh, it works. So let's do the same for orders. So we go to the class that brings us orders and save order, not get orders by user. Mm -hmm. Get orders by user, get orders count. Get all orders, maybe this one. Get order details. Okay, so it's this one right here. So we had a limit of 100, but let's replace that with something more reasonable. And of course, let's put a limit. Limit 10, offset be equal to page dot dot get offset. Supply the limit and we are good. Okay, there we go. Refresh. Ooh, syntax error on line 145. There we go. We forgot the equal sign. Refresh. Okay, so offset. I forgot the T over there when copying, so that's my bad. And let's go to the next page. For each argument must be of type array. A boolean was given. Okay, so this is a complaint that um, on line 26, right? Orders.php. Where is line 26? Right here. For each, so before we do it for each, it's always good to check if it exists at all. So let me do this here. Let's say, uh, PHP, what did I just do? 
That was just so weird. So here I'm just going to put an if statement and say if is set, very important, orders, and is array, just to be safe, orders. Full column, close that. And so we go to the bottom for each loop, duplicate it, and put the end if at the end. This way we will lose the error, like so. Then we can go back. Good. Let's go to categories and finally finish with products. So here, categories, same thing. Let me go back to the order class and copy the limit limit offset offset. Copy that. Let's go to categories. Where are we? Categories class, yes. And let's see. Get all. That's the one we're looking for. Get by name. No. Nah. Make table. No. This one right here. So <clears throat> paste that there. Let's apply limit. Limit be equal to 10. And then offset is equal to page get offset like that limit that should do it so let's refresh okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hmm they actually ten if we go to the next page it doesn't work does it now? No. 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 Okay, so what are we using here to read? So get all maybe is not the one. Uh, which one could it be then? Edit, not create? No. So let's just go to the admin controller and check that for ourselves. So admin controller. And let's go to categories. This is categories. Yes, yes, it is. And what are we using here? Categories or is equal to DB read. Select all from categories order by. So this is the issue is because we're actually running the, I don't know why we're running queries here for some reason. Uh, categories or categories. Hmm. This is the one we're using actually. But no biggie, we're just going to add the offset there, regardless. And then let's give ourselves a limit and an offset. So here we'll say, the limit is equal to 10. Offset is equal to page get offset. A limit like so. That should do it. Refresh and next page. Next page. It's still not working. Hmm. Why is that? Wait a minute. Okay, so let me go to the categories uh, view here and see what we're actually reading from. So we are reading from which variable exactly? Let's go down. I think I missed it there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is TB Rose coming from? What's happening here? Hmm. Where is this file from? I'm getting lost here. Categories.php looks like the correct file, but uh, category name. Okay, so that's for the add new category and then edit category. And then this is where we put the content, TBO rows. Okay, so what's happening is I, I actually forgot. Let's go to um, the categories here. We're actually creating a table here. So make table, but we are not using the we're not using a query. So we are back to the admin section. Let's see the one that we are using for make table. And it's this one, categories all after all. So I was mistaken. 
So let me put this here on categories all or before it, I think. Let me move that. Okay, so let me put that here. Let me move it from here. I may not need it here, so I will move it to the other side. Bam. Okay, that should work. Next page, yes, it's working. Goody. So let's put a smaller limit here and see what happens for refresh four items and next page and next page okay good things are working so let's go back to 10 and finally let's do with products where are the products here products 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 where are we there we go okay so this part is is been dealt with it's the controller that needs dealing with and where are the products where we go so we also have queries here, but the make table is going to products here, which is this one. So that's the one that needs the extra stuff. So let's put a limit is equal to 10. Let's put an offset is equal to page get offset. Let's put our limit in there. Okay, and we are good on products as well. Next, everything is working. Very nice.